Okay, I'm gonna start off, and I'm gonna tell you, I've already done my skincare, and on this side, I have on our tinted moisturizer, which tinted to my face, it looks like a light foundation. On this side, I did my foundation and my eye, so I'm gonna do that on this other side, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so I have a little makeup palette here that I use, I've already got some blush mix, but I'm gonna do, I did a half a squirt of foundation, earlier because I only did half my face. So I'm just gonna do another half squirt. So it only takes one full squirt to do your whole face. I'm doing a half squirt of pearlizer. Now I'm wearing tan. So tan is a color. And the thing about our foundation in Cinegents is that it adapts to your skin pigment. Um, it renews your skin cells. This is the advanced anti-aging foundation. So it actually repairs skin damage that you already have. Um, and it protects it as you go out during the day. So I'm gonna mix that pearlizer with the foundation. And somebody's gonna go, what's the pearlizer for? Well, you see this side of my face has a really pretty dewy glow. That's what the pearlizer does. So I just mixed it in. Now I'm just gonna dab a little right there because I don't wanna waste what was on the end of that brush. But I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna do this all over and I'm stippling it. It's just like if you stipple paint something. Okay, I accidentally started doing my eyeshadow over here and I didn't finish, but I didn't mean to start because I wanted to show you. Exactly. Now, when I wear this eyeshadow right here, every time I wear this eyeshadow, and if my husband's watching this, he will amen this. And if he's not watching it, I will know he just liked it. Because if he watched the video, he's going to comment, Carrie Morris. Every time I wear this eyeshadow, he looks at me and he goes, oh my God, that is the most perfect look. And every time I wear it, I have figured it out. I'm like, oh my God, what's the difference? Well, I don't know what it is, but it's these colors on me, I guess. And I'll tell you, the colors are Whisper Pink. Mulberry and Garnet. That's what I'm wearing. And I have on Onyx eyeshadow for my liner. But he loves my eyes like this. He says they are just looking good. And of course, we want to be looking good. And hardly ever do I wear brown eyeshadow. I don't know. I just, I'm not a brown girl. I like pinks. Okay, so now all my foundation's on. Now over here, I have some Toasted Rose Blush. It's a very light pink color. I mix the pearlizer in it, and I'm just gonna do this side right here. It's a cream blush, and it's gonna look way more natural than powder blush. So you can just see how my face is starting to match this side. Okay, so now I'm just, I always use paper towels. I have to have a paper towel because I'm always wiping my makeup palette and my brushes between. So I like to clean my brush. Now, you wanna clean your brushes at least every other week or so, your personal brushes. Um, I clean my makeup brushes that I use on my customers every time I use them because that's very proper sanitation. Um, now, this is Whisper Pink, which is an eyeshadow. So now, you, I'm gonna take it, it's a cream, and I'm gonna put it all over my eye, which I already did. I'm just kinda layering it again. But anyway, that's gonna brighten your eye big time. And it's a powder. I mean, it's a cream, but it turned to a powder, and it's not gonna budge all day long, okay? Now, I'm gonna take the Mulberry, which is a light, color so it's not real dark and I'll just show you right here on this makeup palette what it looks like as a cream. It looks a lot like a toasted rose blush. So see everything is going to match on my face. Okay so mulberry actually goes where I put it is above my crease but I still want my whisper pink to be showing up there because I love that highlight part. So that's mulberry. Okay, now I'm gonna take some garnet, and what I'm gonna do with the garnet is I am going to do it like this just so you can see what I'm doing. And normally, I, I am not scared of the color because I like lots, you know, I know I'm good at this. I've practiced it, I'm not the best. I'm, by far am I bragging on myself? No, I'm not. But I'm just telling you how I know how to use this. So this is the garnet, so it's a really dark color. So it doesn't take much of that. And all I do is just go right in the crease with that garnet, okay? And then it's a cream, so it's blending perfect. When I say perfect, I mean perfect. And when it blends, you can still see your garnet, you can still see my whisper pink down here, you can see my whisper pink up here. Even if you have small eyes, just use a smaller brush, and I promise you, it's gonna make your eyes look bigger when you do this. Now I'm gonna wipe my brush, because that's what I do on my paper towel. Okay, so on my eyeliner, I'm actually using the Onyx, which is a cream to powder eyeshadow. It's black. See the difference in my eyes? Let's see. Look at my eyelashes. What till I show you this? Okay, they're big. Okay, so I'm gonna line my eyeliner 
the onyx which is a cream powder cream to powder i'm gonna give myself a little wing because it's a little fun to have one you gotta hold your mouth just right men don't get that part about holding your mouth for makeup okay how you do <laughs> all right They're like, why are you making funny faces? Why do you make funny faces when you do your makeup? Go, well, that's the only way you can get it right. They don't get it. Okay, so there you go with your eyeliner. And now on my mascara. To make your eyelashes very fat and full, you curl them first. And I'm going to show you. Before you put mascara, you curl them. Because you don't want them to break. Now, I'm going to use a primer. This is called Under Sense. Now, this is not any kind of fibers in this because there are fiber mascaras. Those fibers will flake off. They will get in your eye. If you have contacts, they can actually scratch the cornea of your eye and cause permanent damage. So, I highly advise against any fiber mascara. I learned that from a chemist and an eye doctor. But anyway, this is actually made out of volcanic ash. And it actually has Cineplex Complex in it, which causes your eye, everything to renew. So, my, look how long my eyelashes are. Makes them fat and thick. And that is called Undersense. And you can buy this for $20. And it also moisturizes your eyelashes. But the thing about it is, it protects it from mascara. Even mascara that you're using, possibly. If you would put this on first, it protects your eyelashes from breaking. Which, in turn, makes your eyelashes get longer because they grow just like your hair. So there's my undersense, and I'm letting it dry. And you see how mine are gray now? They're covered in gray, but they're long. They're long, long, like they can almost touch my eye brow. How cool is that? So now I'm gonna put on my mascara, and our mascara is called Lash Sense, and it is gonna, it's black. That's the one I wear. And my eyelashes are gonna be very full, fat, thick. You know you want you some, so get you some. Now, next, I'm going to tell you on my lips, because I usually don't already have my lips done. I did Fire and Ice for my lip liner, and then I filled it in with pink champagne, and I put on some Bougainvillea Gloss, which is a beautiful colored tinted iridescent gloss. Have a great day. Thank you.